Hey, it's Thomas DeLauer. I'm the Clinical Advisory Board for Sheer Strength. And today I want to talk to you about something that is a precursor to the hormones that allow you to look and feel your best. I'm talking about DHEA. That's dehydroepiandrosterone. What that does within the body is nothing short of amazing. And I think a lot of times when we're looking at hormones and we're looking at things that we can potentially take to help improve our performance, we're not looking the step back that we need to look. A lot of times we're focusing on our T levels or we're focusing on our estrogen levels. We're focusing on all the things that directly impact us right then and there. But what about taking a step further back? Because what DHEA does is it helps contribute to the production of certain hormones. Essentially what it is, is it's the precursor to almost all the sex hormones within the body. But it's also a precursor to some of the hormones that allow us to be who we are. That means different hormones that give us our personality, that give us that energy in the gym, or that give us that laid back attitude that we might have. Essentially, it enhances who we are as individuals to begin with, which is one of the beauties of it. But there's one attribute of DHEA that I wanted to focus on more than anything in this video, and that is the wonderful world of cortisol and how DHEA directly affects cortisol. Now, first and foremost, let me address this. Cortisol is not a bad thing. We need it, okay? We need it to help increase our blood pressure when we get up in the morning. We need it to help regulate our stress response. We need it to help regulate that fight or flight response. It's a good thing, but when we have too much or it's occurring chronically, that's when it can start causing some issues. It can start causing issues like storing excess body fat. It can cause you to feel a lot more lethargic. It can make you weaker. It can affect your sleep. It can totally wreak havoc on your body if you let it. So how does DHEA actually combat cortisol? Well, you see, it comes down to the adrenal gland. The adrenal gland produces cortisol, that fight or flight response, right? But what happens is DHEA occupies the same receptor that cortisol would normally bind to. So essentially, you've got this awesome hormone that's dictating other hormones, it's doing all these amazing good things that to add insult to injury is also sitting on a receptor preventing cortisol from being utilized by the body. So this means your body is just gonna metabolize and excrete the excess cortisol rather than having it bind to the receptor and utilize it the way that we potentially don't want it to. But let's talk about the sex hormones for a minute too because I think that's a very big component of DHEA and quite frankly, probably why you're watching this video. DHEA is the precursor to testosterone and the precursor to estrogen. What this means is it's going to help your body regulate how much you produce. You see, if you only focus on regulating your testosterone and you only focus on regulating estrogen, a lot of times you can throw your own natural system out of whack. So it's very, very good to focus on DHEA at first so that your body can sort of have that adaptogenic effect and start to balance out what needs to be balanced out. So it's gonna also increase your testosterone, increase your estrogen, but at a rate that your body should be increasing it. Now I'm gonna go into some more detail with dehydroepiandosterone in another video, but for the sake of this video, I wanted to keep it short and concise and to the point about how it can affect your stress levels, how it can affect your mental energy, and how it can affect your hormone levels. As always, keep it locked in here with Sheer Strength so that we can show you exactly what you need to live the best possible life through your nutrition, through your vitamins, your supplementation, and most of all, your training. I'll see you in the next video.